Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to cover how to remove a horseshoe. We had a question uh, concerning emergency, so let's say that you're on a trail, you're riding a horse, and you kind of notice that uh, half your shoe is falling off the hoof capsule of the horse. So a lot of times people carry uh, duct tape, so what you do is you duct tape the shoe back on to the hoof capsule, and then when you get back to the trailer, you're hopefully going to have some tools inside the trailer, such as a rasp and some polars now you don't have to get, go out and buy a brand new rasp ladies and gentlemen all you got to do is find a farrier and if farrier's got a whole bunch of used one be able to do what we need to do to remove a horseshoe and we'll show you how to do that second tool is you can go down to your local uh, tax store big r's horse lens whatever you have and you get this thing called shoe pullers you know they're shoe pullers because they're nice rounded beveled edges and they're half moon these are called shoe pullers they're not flat on top they're nice rounded arch and circular motion so make sure you know the difference on these when you go to a store so once again you're on a trail ride you get done you've already taped up the hoof capsule and the shoe make sure it's on there so it's not loose you get back to your trailer you're going to want to pull these out of your horse trailer to be able to remove the shoe for emergencies until your farrier is able to put them back on so with that we're going to talk about what are we using the rasp for well ladies and gentlemen when a farrier, generally, and we'll get a close-up on it, when they put uh, nails in through the hoof capsule, what they're going to do is they're going to bend the tip of the nail over, like this, called a clinch. And when they do the clinch, that's what holds on to the hoof capsule, the outer wall of your hoof. So that's what we got to rasp off, and we're going to demonstrate that. All right, here we go. So... There's a lot of techniques, but we're going to show you this one. So today we're going to use Bella. She just got out of the rain. Come on. Thank you, Bella. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hoof stand or your leg, place it in front, and what I'm going to do is slide my hand down, pick up the hoof, and place it on my stand. So as you can see here, I have clinches. They're very long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rasps and I'm going to go in a downward action. I'm going to make sure I'm not angled on my rasp. I'm going to lay it nice and flat on the hoof, uh, hoof caps on the outer wall. And all you do is going back and forth. Make sure when you're rasping, you're not coming up here and hitting the, the hairline of the hoof caps on. And what you're going to see is these windows are going to start to disappear and get smaller and smaller. They look like this. So you'll see very small windows versus what they were before I started. You want them to get to this, not this. Once again, there's what I want, this is what I don't want. I'm working on this clinch. Okay, now I got all my clinches filed off not from the outside. Now I gotta go to the medial side. Again, I am flat on the, with the rasp on the hoof capsule on that wall, just like such. Okay, and I'll check with my fingers, make sure the clinches are small. A little bit more to do. Okay. Next item we're going to grab once we broke the clinches. Once we broke the clinches, we're going to grab the shoe pullers. I'm going to come up to my horse, let her know I'm here. Let's bring her horse over. Come on, Bill. Thank you. I'm going to pick up the hind leg, grab the toe, make sure my toe's out of the way. 
Bring the leg low where it's comfortable for the horse. Place it on my leg. Okay, I did have these picked out. Nip real quick. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hook pullers, go right in the back, I'm gonna shake it back and forth just a little bit, and then pull. Same thing on the other side. Shake, 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 pull. Shake, 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 pull. Shake, 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 press. Shake, 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 press. Okay, if I want, I can push down on the back of the shoe, pull the nails out, they're being stubborn. And you'll see the clenches are rasped off here, okay? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 press off. Okay, once I'm here, just slowly flip the foot down. Easy, girl, easy. Okay, here we go. We got all the nails, and you can see we broke all the clenches. And that's how we pull a shoe in the emergency. I uh, hope this helped you. Hope you learned something. And be safe, if you like this video, hit like, and please subscribe to my channel. We got more videos for you for emergencies and also for educational purposes. Thank you. Goodbye.